Today we're going to talk about the importance and the effectiveness of kitchen ventilation. Okay, Joseph, so kitchens can either have gas or electric cooktops. From a ventilation perspective, how can that change things? Typically, we have two different strategies in ventilating a kitchen. It's either a recirculating range hood, which is aimed to only extract all the grease and also filter out the odor using active charcoal filters or some other mechanism. The second type of ventilation system, exhaust or range hood, is the one that extracts the air from your kitchen out. But where would that air end up into is a different story. A lot of the time we assume the air is being extracted to outside, mm. but in fact it is quite common in Australia that the kitchen exhaust is only being bring into your roof space, the attic. What is the actual purpose of a range hood? The purpose of the range hood is primarily remove any grease, odor, yeah. and reduce the moisture produced from cooking. Yep. And that's the reason why we have two different types of um, range hood system. One is recirculating, uh, which using a series of filter, including different types of um, metal filters to catch the grease and then use um, carbon filter to take out the odors but it doesn't do much on the moisture and if there is any CO2 burning it doesn't do. Passive houses usually use those types of range hoods right? Passive houses usually use those type of range hood in conjunction with an extraction outlet near right. the kitchen to, the... to take care of the moisture and potential increase in CO2 if anything burns. So that's the exhaust to the HRV or ERV yes. ventilation system. One thing that we're finding it very or finding very common in a lot of homes is that these are exhausting directly into roof space, right? Which is from my point of view a definite no no. Yeah. Don't even think about doing that. So that encourages rats and mice to well Let's Up take one roof. step back. Imagine what you are getting rid of from your cooking. Oily stuff, smelly stuff, moisture. potential food, moisture. Do you want those actually go only into your roof space yeah. and stay there? Yeah. Remember in the, all the modern houses, we also got insulations and other type of services in there. Do you want to deal with insulation bed soaking in oil? No, not, not really. really. It, not it, it, the sound of it is disgusting enough, mm. let alone the potential risk that come with it. Mm. For the full smell, it attracts rodent, mm. rats and mice, which some people may find it cute, but not the grey colour one, mm. I guess. The accumulation of grease in your roof space may increase fire hazard, as well as in some extreme case, if you love to do deep fry in your stove, there may be enough grease got trapped, so oil stain may show up in your ceiling plaster, but so it's a definite no-no. Yep. So the other thing is that draft stoppers need to be maintained as well, because you've got all that grease. Oh, there needs, there yep. should be a draft stopper integrated in these things, and that's for one thing sure. to always look out for. So this one has a draft stopper in it, and it's been ducted and then vented via a metallic flue. Not, not plastic for a kitchen, right? No, no, no. You yep. can't use plastic because of the potential fire hazard. So if your home does have a range hood that's exhausting directly to the roof, it's not a very big deal to get it then exhausted directly to the outside. Well, there are heaps of products. You just need to call a roof available. plumber and most of them can help you to fix the issue in half a day. And make sure that there's a draft stopper integrated. Yes, for sure. But um, I guess it's, it's another thing to make sure that, that it's, it's an inspectable and cleanable yep. damper. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>